SSTV stands for Slow Scan Television and is an analog broadcast television method of transmitting and receiving still images through ham radio. Any licensed ham can operate SSTV. Slow Scan TV was invented in 1957 and first tested on the 11 meter band. A scanned image consisted of 120 lines of 120 pixels each and was black and white only. In the 1960s, the resolution was increased to 320 lines of resolution and was used by NASA during the Apollo moon missions to transmit images of the moon back to Earth. SSTV was used to capture the very first images of the far side of the moon taken during lunar orbit and then was used during the historic 1969 moon landing mission to transmit the images of the first humans ever to walk on the surface of the moon. NASA communicated with the astronauts on 2200 MHz microwave frequencies, adjacent to the current 13 cm ham band. SSTV has been legalized for ham operators since 1968, but required expensive, dedicated hardware that was connected to the transceiver. It was modernized in the 1990s to utilize the home computer. Today, software is available to encode and decode SSTV signals for almost any operating system and platform, even smartphone apps. You can experiment with SSTV on literally any budget or equipment. Technicians can use a $22 VHF walkie-talkie with free software for your computer or phone. More advanced operators can use HF frequencies and more complex software programs. In this video, I'll demonstrate both ends of that spectrum. Modern SSTV signals are created using any still image that you can create in a digital format. The image should contain your call sign because the FCC requires you to identify your licensed call sign as part of all ham radio transmissions. You need to conform to ham protocol and etiquette no vulgarity or profanity. Other than that, the image can be a picture of almost anything. I liken the experience to sending a QSL card electronically over the air for anyone to pick up and return the call with their own. You can import any digital image into the software and most SSTV software provides a means to design your own right inside the application. After you design your image and text message, you select the transmission mode you want to use. 
Scotty, Martin, and Robot are popular modes. We'll focus on Robot 36 in this video. It's fast and easy. Once you have selected a frequency to transmit on and a mode to encode with, you're ready to transmit. The image gets scanned line by line and the varying colors and brightness of the pixels along each line are translated into corresponding audio tones that can be transmitted over the radio for other stations to hear, sometimes thousands of miles away. The modem on the receiving station interprets the tones as digital information that gets decoded and reassembled line by line. Depending on the mode and resolution used, an SSTV image usually takes about a minute to transmit. This is important to remember because SSTV runs full duty cycle and running too much power for too long can overheat your radio. You should never exceed 50 watts or keep a close eye on your equipment. SSTV can be used as a communication method on almost any ham band that you're licensed to transmit on. We generally use standard call frequencies on each band so that other operators know where to look for your signal. Technically, you only need an audio source delivering the encoded signal and a free app to decode the SSTV image being received. This audio source could be a signal being heard over a shortwave radio, software-defined radio, Echolink or IRLP, or simply a recorded audio clip of a signal, such as the audio from this video. So go ahead and download the free Robot36 software and place your phone near the speaker. Replay this video and watch as it decodes the signals onto your screen. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Amazon has deactivated my associate account until I have at least 500 subscribers. YouTube does not monetize or promote small channels until they have at least a thousand subscribers. So please help a guy out and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing and you'll start seeing my content in your feed as soon as new videos are uploaded.